Let's see the tenth reaction. Tenth reaction is D hydrogenation. Hydrogenation is addition of hydrogen. Dehydrogenation will be removal of hydrogen. When I take a 1 degree alcohol and I take copper metal and I take temperature around 300 degrees Celsius or 573 Kelvin. When we do this, what happens is hydrogen is removed. One hydrogen from oxygen, one hydrogen from carbon. So both loses one hydrogen, both loses one bond and they form a bond between themselves. So both again gains one bond. Like this. And hydrogen is removed. This reaction happens. So this is removal of hydrogen. Once we have aldehyde, as we have talked a minute back, that removal of hydrogen again from aldehyde is not easy. What you get after removal is not stable. So removal of hydrogen stops at this stage, as was in the case of PCC. So this is a pure dehydrogenation because hydrogen is being removed and it forms H2. There in PCC, H2 was not formed. So we don't, we didn't call that hydro dehydrogenation because hydrogen is removed, but you had formation of dihydrogen chromate. I'm sorry, this is Cr, H2CrO3, alright, so there's no hydrogen coming out, so th that was not, in, a, in, 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 in essence it's the same, because in both the cases, in, in the in case of PCC and in this case, you are removing hydrogen, but that hydrogen is not clubbed as H2, like in this case, in the case of PCC. So in this case, as if pure hydrogen is being removed off. So we call it dehydrogenation. The last reaction was not called as dehydrogenation because H2 was not coming out. Something else was happening. Right? So this is dehydrogenation. Why it happens, how it happens is not our business to know. Because that's a complex matter. I will not be able to make you understand exactly what's happening at the molecular level. And what are the steps? It's, it's a, it's a tedious long process. It doesn't happen just in one step. It takes place via various intermediates. But for simplicity, we will be not looking into those things. That is not the part of your syllabus. So we will not delve deep into this, how it happens. But this happens. The reason why, a simple reason why it happens is delta G of this reaction is greater than zero. So the reaction happens. Delta S, I'm sorry. Delta S is greater than zero. Delta G will be less than zero. So the reaction occurs. That's a simple, clever way of saying why the reaction occurs. But the explanation I'm not giving you because explanation is not required. Right? So this is dehydrogenation. You have to remember this that when you take copper tube, heated at around 3 degrees Celsius and you pass vapors of 1 degree alcohol, what result is a aldehyde. If you take 2 degree alcohol and you pass the vapor through a copper tube heated at 300 degrees Celsius, you'll get, again dehydrogenation will occur and you'll get a ketone instead of an aldehyde. If you take a 3 degree alcohol, suppose I'm taking tertiary butanol. Now in this case, there is no hydrogen on the carbon. There's a hydrogen on oxygen, but there's no hydrogen on this carbon to be removed and C double bond O to be formed. So in that case, a hydrogen from this carbon is removed and whole of the OH is removed. So this OH and this H gives you H2O. And when this OH comes out and a H from here comes out, this carbon and this carbon forms a bond like this. So there is an alkene as a final product instead of a carbonyl compound. So all three kinds of alcohol gives three different kinds of products in case of dehydrogenation. When you pass the vapor of alcohol in a copper tube heated around three degrees, 300 degrees Celsius, one degree alcohol gives you aldehyde, 2 degree alcohol gives you ketone and 3 degree alcohol gives you 
alkene as the final product. All right. So let's quickly solve something. If I have a styrene, I added H plus H2O to this, I got A. If I added PCC to this, I got B. To styrene, if I add diborane in basic medium in presence of hydrogen peroxide, I get C. And that C, if I add C at 300 degrees Celsius, I get D. Quickly, very quickly, tell me what's A, B, C, D. So this one of the reaction is of from the chapter of hydrocarbon and the, 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 these two reaction, the one giving A and the one giving C, we studied this chapter in the reaction of alkene in the chapter hydrocarbon. So quickly tell me what's A, B, C and D. This reaction is first of all styrene, what styrene is, styrene is this, there's a ethine, ethinyl molecule sitting on the top of benzene ring. This is styrene. On a styrene, you're adding H plus H2O. There will be a, this is a hydration basically. So OH will be added on the styrene and this is a Markinivkov addition. So OH will get attached to a internal carbon, the carbon where the electron stabilization effect is higher. So this is the carbon because of resonance from phenyl ring. So A will have OH group on internal carbon like this. This is A. You're adding PCC. What is PCC? PCC is pyridinium chlorochromate. Full form is not important. What is more important is what PCC does. PCC oxidizes one degree alcohol to aldehyde, two degree alcohol to ketone. Basically, it does dehydrogenation. It removes off hydrogen from oxygen and carbon and forms C double bond O. Fine, because we have seen this before. So what will happen is in B will turn out to be acetophenone. C double bond O formation. And this is called acetophenone, I guess. Right? This is B. For C, what you're doing is you're also doing a hi a hydration. There's an addition of H2O, but this is an anti Markinivkov addition, if you remember. This is a hydroboration oxidation reaction. So OH group will be added on terminal alkyne, terminal carbon. So this is what C ought to be. And this is indeed, I think, what C is. On C, again, you're adding copper. You, actually, you are passing C through a copper tube heated at 573 Kelvin. And this is the last reaction that we have studied. It shouldn't be a problem for you to find out what D is. What will happen here is dehydrogenation. Hydrogen will be removed off and C double bond O will be formed. So this time, the product will be a aldehyde and not a ketone. So this is what D is.